if purgatory is not in the Bible, why do Catholics believe that? Well, the word Trinity is not in the Bible either, but every Christian believes that. And so while the word purgatory is not there, although purification and some of those words are there, the, the ideas are absolutely there. That Jesus says that sins are forgiven, except for sins against the Holy Spirit, will not be forgiven in this life or in the next. So, or in the next, that Jesus is implying that somehow that some sins are forgiven after this life. But we know that nothing unclean will enter the kingdom of God, that we are called to be perfect as our Heavenly Father is perfect. And so, so somehow, maybe that purification that God's begun here now is going to continue after we die. And we see people in Scripture praying for people even after death. In the Old Testament, in 2 Maccabees 12, that we, we hear of these people who died in battle, and they're going to bury them, and they notice that they're wearing amulets to a false god. And so they take a collection and send it to Jerusalem that an, an expiatory sacrifice you know, an, for atonement for our sins, for their sins, will be offered so that in view of the resurrection of the dead, that they can enter the kingdom of God. And so whether you take that book as inspired or not, it still gives an idea of what some Jewish people believed. And so this idea that, that if I were to die today, I'd, I want to see God face to face, but I don't know if my heart's perfectly conformed to God's yet that I might need some more purification. In the Old Testament, Moses, after he spoke to God face to face, his face was so brilliant that they made him wear a cloth over his face. And so if you think about heaven and God's perfect light, it's like going from a dark room where we see in shadows to seeing God face to face. And you know how you, your, your eyes adjust? That there's going to be some sort of adjustment between us here and us with God. You can think about that as purgatory, that God, he's bringing to completion the good work that he's begun in us. And so the whole idea is something that gives us hope, that, that we continue to allow God, Jesus Christ, to purify us, to change us from the inside out. But if we're not perfect by the time we die, we have hope that God, from whom our salvation comes, that he's going to continue to work in, with, and through us until we can be with him forever in heaven.